we go with another good one. <laughs> Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Come on down to put a spark in the market where we put the money in our pocket and put a junk in your driveway. This week, the junk will stay right here. I found a U-Haul so beautiful it'll make you shed a tear. This last week, we had some top-notch luck and bought ourselves a 1981 Ford Courier box truck. She's an old U-Haul who's been decommissioned. Now she's gonna get put in fight in a little recondition. She may be a little bitty, but man, she's got a big heart. After a little bit of wrenching, we got this baby to start. This little 2.3 rips and runs off petrol. She runs real good now that we deleted old smoke control. Woo! Does this baby run good? Yeah, baby! Does she go through the gears? Dang skippy! Does she stop like a raccoon in the headlights? Every dang time! She's got a not-so-cute face, an average waist, and a big behind! She's all U-Haul, so she's a little special. We're gonna put a twist on it, kinda like a pretzel. We're gonna clean her up where she don't look trashy, man. Then give her a little facelift like one of them Kardashians. Then inside she clean up to make a nice driver. You should feel comfortable when you sit inside her. Let's take a look in her big butt tux booty box of wonders. Back here, you're only limited by your imagination. I'm picturing merchandise for sale. Full price, not liquidation. She ain't for sale, she be part of my brand. Behind every man is a great woman. Well, that ain't a woman, that's a U-Haul, and she'll haul them all, big or small. If you really want to buy something, you can head to www.poodlesfabshop.com. Get you a t-shirt and some goodies before they're all gone. Now, we got to get to work and give her a makeover. We got a lot of work to do before this day's over. But don't forget, folks, if someone got a deal and it's a good one, chances are they dealt with pudding here at Puddin's Parkit and Market. To get out of hillbilly character all you gotta do is put on your yellow hat instead of your green one and actually put your shirt on now i'm dressed for the day we could go to a steak dinner guys we're giving this thing a nice little makeover in this video we're gonna clean out the back real quick and we're gonna pressure wash it when it's out here and then there's a list of stuff we're gonna go over once we get it in the shop and i'm gonna kind of tell you why i'm doing and what i'm doing and some y'all want to see this and some y'all want to see that and guess what i've already got a plan written down so we're gonna go with my plan if that's okay with y'all <laughs> but i think this little thing's gonna clean up good i mean just look looky here can't be mad at that i reckon we need to clean out the back of this thing uh it was left full of goodies for us we've got self storage rooms hand trucks yeah no no sir if this is a ford uh courier courier however the hell you say it that's the ford carriers right there you gotta use them legs and carry that yourself clamp on hitch that sounds smart <laughs> all kinds of cool stickers on this thing just a lot of trash back here and quick crate and future sore backs and everything else got all the goodies Peter's Professional Super Blossom Booster. I bet you boost your booty into that trash can. Sam's Choice, my choice to throw it out. Some beautiful pea gravel. Masonary cement type N. The N stands for no, I don't want to carry that everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, return it clean or pay $20 service charge. Someone owes me $20. God bless, falling over. Ow. Oh, that concrete did not give a damn about my finger being there. This baby can haul 1,650 pounds and she comes with a spare tire. Woo. 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 
Between all these rocks and fertilizer, we should grow some good rocks next year. Oh yeah. Get all this weight out the back over and we definitely just picked up some time in our quarter mile. Don't mind me, I'm just Susie Homekeeper. Pretty happy with that. Think she's ready for a washing. We may want to pull the truck up to get the pressure washer away from all that quick creep. See what I did there? Now she's gonna roll downhill and out the back of this thing when we wash out the back. Pressure washing genius. Sometimes we just pressure wash them. Sometimes we pressure wash them, then hit them with some patina sauce. I think we're taking this one a step further, guys. Sometimes you get overly excited and just start pressure washing jump boxes. Gasoline. You ain't about that moss life if you don't wear green on your glasses from your pressure washing. Oh, she's thirsty. Just make sure to spill gas everywhere so you can record it. Sure enough, I thought these looked like someone had put stickers to cover up the original U-Haul stickers. And it looks like we're blasting this one clean off. I found the ants. Damn ants everywhere, guys. I just about got the roof done before I got a leg attack. The roof's nasty enough. She needs a hand scrubbing. Let's see how the old box does just with a little hand scrubbing. I am not a detailing expert, so this is just going to be some trial and error until I figure out how I'm happy with it looking. Y'all see what I have to do to this entire box now. And trust me, this ain't gonna turn out just beautiful looking, okay? My orbital elbow ain't very uniform, but that's what we gotta do now. As much fun as it is to record this, I didn't plan on doing this. I just plan on pressure washing the damn thing, so here we are. I'm gonna try to get her knocked out. Back here on these doors, I figured out the magic secret, guys. Take a new sponge that's super aggressive, and you wanna go over like these hinges and all this trim down at the bottom. 
that you gotta be a little more aggressive on. Once you get this thing where it's pretty worn out, kind of like this one I just threw on the ground, <laughs> uh, not near as aggressive, then you use it for the sheet metal on the larger areas. I am. Overall, that does a pretty good job. So what we'll end up doing over here, uh, I already started wearing out a new sponge down there on that trim, trying to get me a good one. It's part of it, guys. Sometimes you just gotta try and learn stuff, okay? So now luckily you guys know, so when you go to clean up your miniature U-Haul, you know what to do. Uh, let's wash out this old back. That stuff was corroding that floor away. It's a good thing we got it out of there when we did. pressure wash the hood i'm plumb over cleaning and we're just getting started we still got to address this paint we still got to address this interior still got to put some type of wheels that don't go clank 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 we're making progress nonetheless uh how about we we go over the game plan let me explain to y'all what i'm doing what i do and why i do it his old feet may be a little soaked from that I do have one brand new pair of Walmart prison shoes left. Y'all's lucky I don't put on this, this pair of carburetor tuners right here. <laughs> Everyone jokes about these things till you put on a pair and you feel what it's, see what it feels like to step on a cloud for the first time in your damn life. You think I could have done that in them other shoes? Ain't no chance. These things are about the most comfortable things I've ever had on my feet. You see me get close to a carburetor and pull out that old pocket light then get a screwdriver out the pocket, you better get back because something's about to get tuned on. Hell, I'm about to wear these bastards the rest of this video. <laughs> Gotta have a plan before you can do work. Gotta have lunch before you can tell plan. Happy belly, happy pudding. To me, what makes this thing cool is the fact that it's a miniature old little U-Haul. I don't want to change the color. I don't want to drive train swap. I don't want to turbo. I don't want to paint it. I don't want to do nothing besides make it cool as is for now. This 2.3 Ford engine runs great. And that's for all you guys who told me it's a 2.0. Everyone, hey, that's a Mazda. That's a Mazda. Quit calling it a Ford. It's a Mazda. Well, until that transforms and says 2.0. And until this grill mighty morphs and the title does and says Mazda, y'all can kiss my butt. This is a Ford with a 2.3 liter engine, okay? I'm just playing with y'all. Don't get all serious on me now. Uh, first thing we're going to look at doing next is buffing this paint. My buddy brought me this buffer. That's his. Brought me this pad. O'Reilly sent me this. Just some 3 in rubbing compound. And we're going to start up on the white and see if we can't get that old white whiter than these shoes. Not likely. This seal's been a major pain in the you-know-what. I'm just trying to soak her and get all that black off. It's unreal. Look at that. Just messing up my polish job. Simple YouTube search would probably help me a lot on figuring out what I need to do. I kind of like winging it, guys. I ain't scared to go for it. Guys, I'm having a hard time telling how good I'm doing in here. I'm, I think I'm actually going to back her outside and take a look. See what she looks like outside. Oh, baby. 
There we go. Yeah, I like that. Guys, I'm riding the struggle bus trying to get this baby uniform. Can't really see it in the camera, but I can see these spots and yeah, she needs a little more buffing. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> I've pretty well got the side where I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go get all this extra compound that's flying all over my box. And well, the extra, she just gets about everywhere. Guys, I'm really terrible at detailing stuff. I can't get glass clean. I can't buff paint. I get tired of pressure washing. I didn't mess up the box scratching it. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened to this truck was I got a hold of it. <laughs> scrub a lib, scrub a lib. Don't worry. We're gonna get her polished out too, all right? Get all the crap off of her. We're gonna have to get a new gasket anyhow. I will show you why we gotta get a new gasket. As soon as I get done using the X-Acto finger. We're gonna need a new gasket because it looks like we got rust right there. So if we ever fix that rust, we're gonna have to pull the windshield. So yeah, never noticed that before. Did you know you could buff these stickers? I just tested the top versus the bottom and it definitely makes a difference. So I'm gonna buff these too. Oh yeah, she gonna look shiny like a honey, baby. Don't mind me just buffing out old stickers here. But damn, that thing's shining up. See how dull that is on this side? See how damn shiny that is on this side? Yeah, look at that doll, baby, and look at that. So here's the deal, guys. I just did this side of the truck, and all I got left to do is a whole nother side of the truck. What we're doing is a lot of repetitive stuff, guys. That's a lot of scrubbing, a lot of pressure washing, a lot of buffing, but we're not doing a lot of different stuff, so I'm just gonna knock this side out. Now this blue, depending on how it comes off, I may show you something there. Uh, I want to get one of them wheels to whack it with, but I ain't going to the to the town till tomorrow. So for now, let's see what we can get did. Hey, you like other shoes, Dad? <laughs> got married and got new balances, huh? Get the old hood slap back on. The hood don't want to buff like the rest of it, but until you've buffed a mile in my shoes, don't judge me. not gonna lie i'm not as excited as i thought i was gonna be you can definitely uh, see her whiskey dance a lot more now that she shined up i don't know maybe because i just worked all damn day on it maybe i'll see her in the morning and be more excited for now we're gonna take it okay these new balances may have to stay because i'll tell you what them old old shoes my feet be killing me right now and right now i just still feel like i'm walking in heaven yeah, she's pretty good. Boy, we're in trouble now. Yes, the shoes are on. Okay. New day, same shoes. Top Sitch Taylor's here to give me a hand, and I told him I'd have the seat out, and she ain't out. About damn time someone puts a seat in that's easy to remove. Look at those two easy access babies. And get this other side. She looks pretty good, though. A little more excited about it this morning when I opened up the old shop and seen her. That side's got the mouse poo-poo. I think I know why that seat belt's cut. Because though they may have made this seat easy to unbolt, they were nice and ran the seat belt through to the damn thing. Come on! Yeah. There's the damn coil wire. That's where you leave it. Where'd my upholstery guy go? We're gonna give her the quick tune-up. No, nothing too fancy here. Trim the extras like a turkey. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Y'all wanna see some high-end interior work, don't worry, the travel all's coming. That's it. That'll have a nice interior. This gets the Pot County Special. 
I'll show you guys what I found when he's trimming up. Keep these away from small kids and babies, okay? On Amazon, they make it look like that color's put in blue. It's more of a green than it is put in blue. But we ain't returning them. We're going to install them on the, the old seat here. Boy, someone squirrel marked the hell out of that hood. Started with the P and ended with the Udden. Yeah. That's it. Give her a couple pats. Be all right. It ain't like the leather, you smack it around. Smack that leather like it owes you money. You don't want to be slapped by a poster guy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best day you've had. Cheap solution, guys. This thing will hold until it doesn't. So upholstery guy shows up with a green bean can and a hog ring pliers, you know he means business. <laughs> that son of a bitch works, okay? Getting the second blanket on here. Now Taylor already said he'd like to just make a black slip cover for it and quit playing with Mexican blankets like we're 14 still. But, for getting this thing on the road, this is gonna be a lot better than sitting on phone, guys. Got the seat on old stealthy standby ready to go in, but we gotta do some cleaning first. Someone was having them a couple snow cones, and it may have been the rat. There you guys can see our uh, toolbox for our reflectors. And she ain't Oklahoma special without dirt knobbers, y'all know that. Couple spark plugs and, oh, who knows what those bolts are? Little tow bar bolts right there. Woo, score! Guess what I just found, hot damn! Buffing this thing? didn't get me excited when you look up at this old tray and you find these babies you find the emblems that just go on here then you get excited you damn right baby i think the shop vac will pick up most of that nothing overly exciting in this truck other than them damn fender emblems we struck gold there folks it's the little things in life that get you excited I was not planning on getting into the door seals, but we are now. And I may just have some stuff we can actually put on here. Scraped off most of that old seals. There's still a little glue here or there, no big deal. Gonna grab our sweet patina get gone degreaser. You can get it at the old sweetpatina.com. He's got plenty of cleaning products. Awesome shirt, stickers, you name it. Patina sauce, he's got it, guys. Just be sure to use that promo code on the screen. We're gonna try giving that a spray. I think it'll clean up. Hopefully you can tell how much better that looks. Now I just was curious how this carpet holds in here and well, that's a piece of Velcro right there. Looks like there's some spray glue. I'm just wondering if we can't take this whole dang thing out. These things came factory with a black box. Damned old black box, like them airplanes when they crash, it logs all the data. This baby's got one. Right there. Oh yeah, she's coming. Yet again, something I didn't plan on doing, but here we are. She's gonna get cleaned up. Ford was putting roofing tar paper in there from the factory. Got the weather stripping and whatnot off of that other side. And I figure, hell, since we're jumping all over the place, might as well clean the door panel real quick. Light spraying. This little brush I found at the old Dollar General's. Let that dry and see how she looks. We're either gonna try the door stripping or scrub a mat. I tried this hammer on stuff on the travel all the other day and let's just say she's a little too big. But the old uh, yeehaw here, 
She had a pretty big seal, so we're gonna try some of this on there. All you need is your best Harbor Freight body working hammer. Give this piece a snipping, and then we're gonna give this door a testing. Even if it ain't the right stuff, at least it looks good anyhow. <laughs> That's right up there with the finding the fender emblems. Just the things that get you excited. Got the door seals on the other side, so that means you know what time it is. Give her a dry job real quick. We'll let it drip dry the rest and we'll move to the interior because we got some scrubbing to do. I'm gonna just spray everything down good. Get the old scrubby brush. We can remove our custom six by nine cover there. Sucks this dash is tore up so bad. Yeah, she may clean up a little anyhow. Guess old shift boot could use some loving too, so I'll scrub her down and polish her up. I'm just brushing and scrubbing away, and I'm just figuring, trying to figure out what in the 50s bullet brawl we got going on here. Do y'all see those things? <laughs> we want them just perfect. I actually really like this steering wheel. <laughs> Horn works, by the way. We actually need to test on everything else and see if anything else works in here. But I'm gonna just keep brushing and scrubbing and polish off this side. I'm gonna try slicking this door over with some tire shine. Sticky icky tire renew. Well, today it's gonna be door panel renew because I want this door to look a little slicked over and refreshed. That sticky icky tire stuff smells so damn good. Hey, that looks good. So now this whole dash gets tire renew. <laughs> well, I have to change that to interior renew. Well, interior slicked up pretty good what's left of it. Even shined up the old headliner up there. She shined up good too. Start slapping this old interior back together. She's molded, so I'm just kind of letting it go right back into place. No big deal. The old blue tarp Mexican blanket special, baby. Nothing like some rain to ruin a day here. Here it is, folks. It's done. That's as far as we're going to take it. Uh, she cleaned up pretty good for just, you know, throwing a couple Mexican blankets on her. You can see where I sat and already dirtied her up. So that's what's going to end up happening in this interior anyhow. Now, I like to reward myself after a good interior job with some lunch. It's lunchtime, y'all. She may not have no rear view mirror, but this baby's only missing one thing now. That's a genuine, 100% official, can't get them anywhere else, Puddin's Fab Shop air freshener in the scent of black ice. You can get yours, t-shirts, stickers, you name it, we got it. www.puddin'sfabshop.com Oh, there we go, baby. Now we're slapping some value on this old rig. So here's what I'm thinking on the bumper, guys. We're gonna ditch this one because she's mangled to you know what. I'm not gonna spend weeks or days or whatever searching trying to find a Ford Courier bumper. Not that worried about it. What I thought we may do is put a little fabrication into this whole situation. I thought we may fab up something that looks similar but is a little more sleek and kind of tucked back and don't stick out like such a sore thumb. We can keep the truck kind of true to itself and pay a little homage to this old ugly bumper. Maybe just make her look a little better. So our, our wiring comes all the way up into here. All I did was drop a lot of rust into my sockets. <laughs> that ain't a good sign. All other three bolts came right out. You wanna play games? I got games. Oh yeah, we can play he hauls hauls all, baby. So it's done, folks. 
Oh, there we go. Get rid of big ugly. Yeah. Pick up the whole truck. Something's turning. There we go. Move our truck back where we can kind of look and visualize here. Let's do some measuring. About 38 inches. And probably 13 inches past that. So 26 plus 38. Gonna give us what, 64? Let's go hunt some material. She's short. That piece won't be short though. Here we go. No, the someday Model A ain't for sale. About 300 questions on that. And if that yellow stuff can make a hitch for a Datsun, it can make a bumper for a Ford Courier Carrier 950. Is she even gonna turn out better than the old bumper? The world may never know. Hello. Let's do some measuring here. This is six and has a two inch lift. Two and a half inch lip on the old one and just five inches. Instead of breaking out here in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna break right here where the grill breaks and match that flow. We're gonna measure from about there to about there. We're going 35 and a half inches. 35 and a half is gonna put us breaking right here. So then from there, we're gonna go Oh, 13 inches. We're gonna cut that end off. I'm gonna change this to say 13 and a half inches. Then from there, we're going our 35 and a half. We're going additional 13 and a half. Bam, just like that. Next, we need to find the angle that we're gonna bend at. If you're trying to find an angle finder, that's why you wear overalls. You just keep an angle finder in your pocket. Get that pushed up there and kind of got that in running parallel with that headlight bezel area. She's about a buck 62. If we were gonna do full cuts to miter this, you just divide the 162 by two. It's gonna give you 81 degrees. And if you cut two angles like that and stick it together, it's gonna turn 162. So just the same, we mark this side 81 degrees, and we mark that 81 degrees. When we cut that triangle out, and we pinch that baby, up here we should end up at 162. The wheel showed up, by the way. They're hiding underneath them Mexican blankets. Get a grinder, all right. Get rid of these glasses, they make me look like a creeper. Uh, safety first. back here y'all <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened this one's standing by itself everything else just hit the ground <laughs> that thing's seen better days kind of notch out that old middle that way that has room to go towards each other Honestly guys, it'd probably be less work to just do a full clean cut on both sides and butter up and weld her. But we're keeping her how she is. Get, Get our parking brakes on. See what one smack does. Put the parking brake on the right side. cut down the back. I didn't even go deep at all, guys. Barely nicked that damn thing. And now all of a sudden, she's easy to bend. 162 will do. 
Don't worry about that gap. That's what the welder's for. Tack that, baby. Recheck it. On the money. Time to do the other side. That's money, folks. See if we can't shorten this baby up. Trim down this other end real quick. There we go. Why do I do this with a grinder instead of my plasma cutter sitting right there? One, cuts nice and straight, okay? Two, it's relatable. If you ain't got a plasma cutter and I do it with a plasma, you got excuses. When I do it with a grinder that you can go buy you one at the Harbor Freight, well, there goes your excuses, huh? Not that y'all's gonna build an ugly ass bumper for something, but just anything with fabrication. All you need is a grinder, a welder, and motivation. If you got that, you can do some fabrication. <laughs> oh yeah, we get our tuck back somewhere in there and we'll be, we'll be sitting all right. Now to round these corners, I'm gonna get super technical again. Uh, first round thing I found on the floor. That's the quick release glove right there. Swap her out for the old flapper. Give her a quick clean up. If you want a good straight line, it's all about technique. 21 and a half. I don't think 11 inches, which would be a total of 22, looks like enough. I'm gonna push it out to 14 inches. So in between our tabs is gonna be a total of uh, 28. Let me see what I got here. I've had these ones right here for a minute and I ain't ever used them on nothing. Yeah, kind of close enough. Just gonna line her up just perfect there where I want it. We're gonna go three eighths of an inch. Little piece of brass shim stock. Has a little extra wiggle room. I'm gonna match her up just to the bottom of that. Take this super fancy clamp right there, just to hold it. As long as we did a decent job with the eagle eye, the bolt will go right through there. Or adjustable leg for a table. Whichever you prefer. On to the next. Woo! Get on out of here. Cut me two pieces of old rusty but trusty here. We'll clean them up on the old wire wheel. All right, that'll weld easier if you ground it. Gonna weld these up now. That's what you want to see. Not that where the wind takes your damn gas. Ground those spots out with a carbide, little cleanup. Uh, it is what it is. Leaving this welder turned down, and I'm just working her back and forth. Whoop, 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 over the gap. Just like that there. Still got a pretty deep gap there. I'm gonna drop this wire straight between there and weld her up. Now I'm going to turn the welder up a bit and actually weld it up.
Got her welded up, guys. There we go. A little grinding and paint will make up for the welder eye. Hot damn. Y'all know my wife loves me. Always bringing me drinks or little snacky snack. Right here, I got a frap of whoop that ass though. When you look at this brick behind me, what's the first word that pops into your noggin? Okay, you can say it out loud or comment it down below. Count of three. One, two, three. Aerodynamics. I knew you were thinking it. That's what I was thinking. Come down here to old Pyre City. Now we can weaken our bumper, but make it look good. <laughs> Gonna cut this 22 inches long. So I started here in the middle at 11 inches. Found the middle this way. Marked me one there, and then just kinda went over and seen where I wanted the next one. Then I just make sure to keep that same gap in between so they're nice and even. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna center up in our bumper here. I'm gonna cut out the middle of the bumper. I'm gonna weld this in. And then after it's welded in and smooth out, then we'll hole saw our holes and dimple dye this. The left tap. Do her two more times, just one on each end, and you end up with something like that. Guys, it's late. My work's getting sloppy. I need to spend time with the family. We'll be back on her in the morning. Rise and grind, y'all. Uh, I've been out here and I've been after it. I saved this little end to show you guys. Nothing special, just going around and welding up this gap. I do feel like I hit a whole new level of bad son of a you know what with the white and blue pinstripes in the shoes. Luckily we got grinding dust all over our new buff truck here, so that's good. It's exactly what you wanna do. That's what happens when your fabrication department's right next to your buffing department. But we'll be all right. Center punch our marks before we lose them there. You did good, crooked dollies. You did good. I reckon those are saw horses and not dollies. <laughs> the roll lock action. I just went from a uh, little, I don't know, 120 roll lock to some Scotch Brite to the DA. But for the DA, I only have 220. Honestly, I think if I had 80 grit for the DA, I think I could get a lot of them scratches out. But, guys, I'm banging this out. I ain't too worried about perfect metal work on a ugly U-Haul bumper. <laughs> get our old pilot holes drilled right here. There we go. So whoever sent out the hole saws and the tap, uh, rapid tap, Thank you guys. Get the old die in there. We're gonna take one of them adjustable foot legs. Washer, nut, big mama. Just a few little love squeezes on that trigger will get you a broke toe. There she is. Is it still an ugly C-channel bumper? Yes. Is it kind of fun to do a play off of that ugly bumper and just have some fun? Yes. So what do y'all think about that? Uh, adding this where it breaks right here where the grill breaks definitely helps too. Some kids will play tag around this vehicle once and then they'll learn. <laughs> hey man, get a load of that. Man oh man, you seeing that? Hey good looking. Yeah baby, I see them shin catchers on you. Oh yeah, Morsky called those some shin catchers, and I guarantee it. Give her a drop of the sauce. 
tap broke, but luckily with the old hammer and little punch, whatever, I got the end out. Inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing. Hole sold us an inch and an eighth hole, and then a nine sixteenths on that side for a little wiggle room. Before you mock something up, make sure to clean up your paint about where you think that thing's gonna land, or if you get her just perfect, you can tack it. I'm gonna push it back till it hits both the bumper supports. Looks like we're running pretty parallel with the front of the truck. Now we're just worried about the up and down-ish. It looks like that side is actually lower. Little shipment underneath there, and guys, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna tack her up. Go grease lightning, blah, 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 blah. It's a real yeehaw wagon. Hey -o. Welded these up. Transtar 2 and white gray primer. Just showed up. Good stuff. Bumper fits after welding. We're going to pull it off. I'm going to just scuff it up real quick, guys, and we're going to get her in some primer. Got primer drying. Now we're going to look at lowering it. Don't mind our uh, universal wheel spacers here. Those Datsun wheels are hitting the calipers. The factory wheels are not gonna. So as soon as we get these shiny babies on there, hot damn! Woo, look at those babies! Don't worry about them stickers. Don't get ahead of ourselves here. We gotta get this whoo, down to Mother Earth. We're just gonna cut the coil springs, guys. Gonna disconnect our sway bar mount, drop our shock out of there, and then try to get our lower ball joint and see what we can do from there. If everything goes that easy, we'll be in good shape. Oh yeah, come on baby. Shocking, that came right off. That solves all took her off real fast. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. We'll put a new sec uh, set of shocks on her anyhow. There she is. Yeah, I'd say she could use a new pair of shocks. Well, that spring didn't comp compress very much. Pull the cotter pin. I'm gonna whack this spindle right in here a few times. Now how do we drop this down low enough to get this ball joint out when we can't compress the spring? Reckon if we pull the top ball joint, the whole thing can just drop. There she goes. We probably could have left the bottom ball joint alone, huh? <laughs> uh, let's get a piece of chain. Always makes me nervous. Chain our coil spring to our A arm. We're on the small chance that thing wants to turn into a propulsion machine. It don't cut me in half. Okay. That's one way to do it. That's got us. I'm going to replace that, but I don't feel like bleeding brakes right now. I'm going to take my old buddy, uh, Saul's all right here, and see if he wants to play this bump stop. Oh, yeah. Here she comes. I can honestly say I've never cut coils for one of my own rides, but we're fixing to do it. We're going to come down one, then two. So about right in there. But instead of cutting this straight up and down, guys, we're going to cut it at an angle where this ends up a little flat spot. There she goes. I was gonna go a little at a time, but I just figured we'd go for it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go cut some coils in the bathroom. Use your imagination on that one. And then when I get back out here, I'm gonna get the driver's side caught up to this side. Got two matching springs here. Let's get her back together. Went together really smooth. Ball joints are tightened up. I do not have cotter pins. I do have some tie wire though. <laughs> Guys, just temporary, okay? 
We still got to get in here, do the brakes, uh, grease these puppies. Whole lot of mechanicing needs to go on, so we'll get some cotter pins. Well, that old pudding, he just cut out his shocks, then he just cut a coil, then he put the tie wires on the castle nuts, and I didn't like that. I can hear the comments already rolling in. What in the redneck tie wires going on around here? She may not have cotter pins, but at least she'll sit low. <laughs> Gonna slap the other side together, then we'll get the sway bar end links in and be done. When you put these coils in, just make sure to make them symmetrical and face them and index them the same way. If you don't, you may end up with a little crooked ride. Time for a test drop. Oh yeah. I think we get some shocks on her where it can't bounce like that. I don't think we'll have clearance problems. And that slammed it pretty good. Pretty low, close to tucking tire, but shouldn't be a problem driving. We should be able to turn fine. Like I said, no, no clearance issues. Nice and low, baby. Just what the doctor ordered. We're gonna get this thing slammed and hauling and old pudding's gonna be balling, baby. The yeehaw's coming together. I had mama order me some three inch and four inch lowering blocks. After looking at this, thinking probably three inch for now. So let's try to flip this thing around. Gotta be at a high school football game here shortly. Hello, guy who waved at me. I have no idea who you are. And maybe we can get this back lowered down in time. Ditch the steely on this side. You know I had people told, uh, tell me and comment below and say uh, to ditch the factory steel wheels and go with who knows what. I'm just curious if anyone can even tell what my favorite wheels are. <laughs> Guys, they're coming with a factory set of steelies. What do you think's gonna get on it? That Yukon and pink tampon are lucky that they don't have a set of steelies on them. We're gonna soak our U bolts real quick. I can hit this one long range. See if I can't get Big Mama underneath here. Oh, yeah. Get our bushings off that. There we go. All right, that's how you start a fire, folks. <laughs> Give that a squeeze. Oh, there we go. Look at that quick disconnect model. On many trucks, our axle's already on top of our leaf spring. So all this stuff clamps that. Now we can pick this up and put our lowering block in between there and reclamp it with our longer U-bolts. We're gonna jack this rear end up some. That's exactly what you want your pinion angle set at. Set our block in. Roll that rear end and pull it to us. Get her set down on this guide pin. The small chance we do hit the frame that'll give us a little cushion for the pushing. Set her back in place. Just be sure to get your butt kicked like me. Got our little loose where we can go do the other side. Get our nuts back on our shocks and we're good to go. If you don't like lowered stuff and you're upset I did this to it, well, the good news is you don't have to drive it, okay? Since you don't like lowered stuff, I won't lend you the keys. I think this is about to make it look awesome, guys. It don't seem lower back here. The e hauls rocking, don't come and knocking. Help her settle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, that's sitting just right. These blue wheels are uglier than a beaver with three teeth, so. Let's uh, flip it around, get her on some level ground where we can see the black wheels. We're starting to get somewhere, guys. Now I'm starting to like it. It definitely needed that squat. And I am happy with the three inch lowering blocks right now. That's looking tough. 
it's gonna look even tougher with the other wheels the caps the stickers the bumper back on it we're gonna get on that in the morning guys just finished wiping down this whole truck don't mind that racing stripe yeah she got a little dusty in here so get her wiped down good now speaking of looking clean what do you think about this new shirt first run of these i've ever done you can get them in the travel all blue or you can get them in the truck blue your choice either way it looks good looks so damn good if i was you i'd buy one of each color and maybe two for your wife maybe even two for your girlfriend that your wife don't know about <laughs> i'm just playing these shirts aren't pre-order guys these are in stock and ready to ship as you see here and if you like t-shirts well there might be a yeehaw t-shirt okay more about that at the end of this video maybe you can notice how it looks like some clydesdale horses had a damn tap dance contest on the roof of this thing we're gonna see if we can't pop some out there's a start anyhow little oil cannon no big deal that one came out some boy this wavy no good having a roof i see more waves on this thing than when you leave your in-laws after visiting today we're gonna work on some finishing touches uh, first thing we're gonna look at is this blue pinstripe. Gonna try one of these rubber wheels, never used one before. Side note, this one smells good for some reason. I don't have an arbor for it, so we're just gonna throw her in the chuck of the drill and see what happens. Time to get funky. Put a little funk on it. Oh yeah, she'll hold. Oh, that takes it right off, look at that. Not hurting her paint or nothing. I'm a believer. I ain't mad at that. Good thing I just wiped this whole truck down. And yeah, better leave it. All I'm doing is making a bigger mess again. Pinstripe gone. Check. Let's look into our emblems here. Oh, hello, beautiful family. Uh, these babies. Let's clean them up. We're going to scrub the backside good, too. I'm actually going to try to squeeze some uh, two-sided sticky tape down in here. Whew. Bless me. And thank you. Give these a quick rinsing. 3M two-sided sticky tape. This is for uh, like body trim and stuff. I got it at a paint and body store probably four years ago. It's like 12 bucks a roll, but man, it's good stuff. I'm gonna just put it on the backside here and try to trim up any of the little extra where you can't really see it back there. Our area is nice and clean. We're gonna line those up and stick her on. A few good pushes. Oh yeah, there we go. These have been sitting right here for the last four and a half years with the same tape on them. Ain't lost one yet. That stuff's good stuff. Knocked out the emblem on this side. Now let's back this up and look at putting her dentures in her mouth. Be a wonderful time to have an extra set of hands. These jack stands work good for mock up before we lowered it. Got her whooped now. Oh, yeah. Told y'all the other day aerodynamics. This 6,000 pound bumper is going to split air and allow it to pass through like nothing. I don't love the bumper. I don't hate the bumper like I hated that one. Uh, I'd say for now it works. If we come across the Ford Courier bumper, we may swap it on. Now that we got our new dentures on, well, why don't we see about giving her a new set of shoes, baby? Let's gather the caps and grab the Ajax. They all clean up as good as that one. I'll be happy. I think they're gonna clean up pretty good, guys. Take a little classic never dull. Had the same can for damn near a decade. We're just gonna give her a quick little wipe down. Hit her with the old little shop towel. 
and boom, good enough for my wife. Speaking of that good looking woman, hey, some of y'all asked what my wife thinks about this thing, and she actually likes it, believe it or not. She, she's not a big car person, but she said something about this little thing's actually kind of cool and she likes it. So I don't know if she's just being nice and lying to me or what, but maybe I need to take her out on an old date night in it. <laughs> oh, blue stuff ain't wanting to just scrub right off. Not what I wanted to have to do on four wheels, but it seems to work. So as long as you scrub off most of the blue, then you can knock the rest off with the old special rubber wheel there. Damn, three hours later, we got wheels clean. Uh, guys, I, I run dime whites on as many old vehicles as I can, and I've never had that hard a time getting the white walls clean. Those were bad. Okay, Baby! Ooh. Did you have fun with mama? Yeah. Try to pop these caps on for the first time. If anyone knows how to keep these anodized caps, whatever, looking good, comment down below, cause once they get dry, they just look like hell. Little sticky icky on the old tires. Tight fit to get the back one off. Oh, she barely clears. Damn lowered vehicles. We'll just keep two jacks with us, it's fine. That's just beautiful, folks. Perfect, beautiful, outstanding, gorgeous. However you want to describe it, that's what this truck needed. Guys, this is that excitement feeling that I was hoping to find this whole time. This is like the last video when I got it running and driving finally and I was excited. This is it. Those wheels and tires is exactly what it needed for me to get excited about it. I could not wait to cruise this thing around. Now she's only missing one other thing. And that's our new stickers where you can tell that this baby belongs to the old Puddin's Fab Shop. And that way you know, hey, this thing ain't a U-Haul. It's the yeehaw, because ye can haul it yourself. But don't worry, because we got stickers too. Now, the people who printed these, I am not impressed with their work one bit. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get some new ones printed. Whole thing's so damn pixelated, it ain't funny. I'm trying to build custom cars, not damn play Atari. That looks terrible. Puddin's Fab Shop for the hood. Supposed to have two Puddin' Five. Looks like it came with three. That's okay by me. Three yeehaws, yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Ye can haul it yourself, dosey. Put in fab shop, dosey. And hot damn for the back doors. Marcus a center line. Got me some lines to go off of there. Spray this with some soap and water. Got me old squeegee here. Get the world's most pixelated sticker on here. Get the rest of our soap off here. Now we're ready to move on to the box. I think that's a good choice for the old hood right there. Look at that good quality. This baby has officially been puttified. It's like certified, but better. Let me get this old squeegee unholstered. Y'all see them over there? There's only one pressure washer on this block. I'm gonna start a turf war. I'll knock that mullet clean off of him. <laughs> Watch him be a subscriber and two weeks later, I'm in a fist fight. <laughs> what if he is a subscriber? He'd be all right. He'll probably laugh if he's a good one. <laughs> if he's a bad one, I'll probably have to whoop his ass. <laughs> Mr. Joe Stein sent me this with the Blue 42 stickers, I believe. If not, he sent it with other stickers. And I'm gonna be getting a hold of you, Mr. Joe Stein, because 
If you can beat this quality of sticker, I'll be glad to buy some from you. And up last, we got the Yeehaw. She ain't perfect, but for now, we'll take it. <laughs> it's a lot funnier when you stand back and look at it. That Yeehaw knockoff is pretty darn good, I gotta say. <laughs> We got the yee haul on the front. I think I know why the roof's all wavy now because I had to climb up there and had to pop her back out again. We've got this side all logoed up. And it pretty well leaves us with the best part. Old back doors. These are nice and kind of pixelated too. Gotta love it. That peach color to that real burn orange just looks. Not a fan. Guys, this thing looks freaking awesome. The bumper looks a lot better now to me. Uh, it all kind of ties everything together. The wheels and tires uh, kind of give it a little hot rod influence. So it helps bring the bumper into play with the speed holes, you know, them aerodynamics. Of course, we got to have the logos. Seeing the colors uh, on the inside of the truck kind of helps. I think she's sitting just right, okay? And then, of course, personalize it with your own logos. How freaking awesome is this thing? On a budget, by the way, and we're going to go over that budget because uh, I feel like it needs to be talked about. I am freaking ready to drive this thing around town. You want to talk about turning some heads? I guarantee it right here. Look at that seat. The old Puddles Fab Shop logo, of course. Just what the inside needed. Guys, I'm so stinking happy. She may have a little paint body issues and a little whiskey dents here or there grills a little missing paint or a lot missing paint but who gives a damn we can drive the wheels off this thing well not quite yet she still needs a little mechanicals but this thing looks freaking awesome and i want to remind you guys what this thing looked like when we started and here it is guys here's a before video okay this is when we first started i took this video for you guys and now that we're done it looks exactly like this Definitely needs some front shocks, but at least the horn works. <laughs> Hot damn! Guys, I bought the truck for $900. Some of y'all are funny. I had people commenting offering $1,000 for the truck on the last video. I paid $900. I don't know if y'all think I just go rob little old ladies of their old vehicles or whatever go buy you an aluminum shed the size of this for a thousand dollars good luck a thousand dollars i went and sold it to you for twenty five hundred dollars before it was running i ain't saying what it's worth i'm just saying how much i like it that you offering a th or 2500 went and bought it into our little makeover buffett 50 decals 100 not happy with those seat 36 bucks for some blankets Bumper, $18 for the fancy primer. Lowering it, $45 bucks for lowering blocks. Air freshener, $5. Available at PuddingsFabShop.com. Get yours today. Wheels, $125 bucks into sandblasting and painting. Tires, $65, $64 bucks a piece, plus having a mountain balanced, about $300 there. Grand total in the aesthetic makeover, $689, guys. Mechanical, I just put 500 because I ordered some of that stuff. I've already ordered some brake parts. Uh, it's been coming with other stuff. I don't know what's what. I guarantee you I have not spent $500 on the tune-up parts, the new brake components, fuel hoses, all that kind of stuff. Uh, still need to get shocks and a carrier bearing. That's the last thing I can think of. So after the mechanicals, we're gonna have a nice little running driving truck 
with my character added to it that's going to turn heads. That's a great part of the brand for the channel and everything else for $2,350, guys. $2,350 is cheap. I know some of y'all are thinking I'd never spend that much on that little turd. There's some people who's going to love this thing and go, man, I, I could do something like that on a budget. Look how freaking cool this thing is being left with what we started with. I had people tell me throw away the chassis, get rid of that motor, change the color, fix the body, cut up that box, get rid of the box. You know, a million things to do, but look how cool this thing turned out using what we had there, guys. It's freaking awesome. So the Yeehaw, we actually have a complete logo, guys. And this Yeehaw, that's gonna be a back of a shirt, okay? You can haul it yourself. And you can help support Puddin's Fab Shop by buying one of these shirts if you want one. Now the front's gonna have the logo, okay? In black and orange and white or whatever. Now think about Halloween. Right around the corner, trick or treat, y'all. So you can wear your Puddin's Fab shirt, take your little children trick or treating. It'll be the coolest dad and mom on the block. I'm ordering those today, this Monday. My new t-shirt guy can get them to me in five days. So they should ship out within two weeks of whenever you order it. We're trying to get our turnaround times faster. Man, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate all the support from you guys. Uh, this is it for our makeover. I hope y'all dig it. Hopefully you're not too upset. I didn't go all crazy on it. Uh, told you about merchandise already on the website. These shirts are in stock if you want one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the new shoes. I'm on Instagram. We got a Patreon page up. I think that's it, guys. I'm done babbling. Don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Moonwalking and New Balances will. Oh, they're squeaking. They're squeaking. Did you bring me a whoop that ass, though? It's like a macchiato, but better. What is that? Delicious. That caramel ice caramel is my favorite. It's gonna kick ass. Get out of here. Alright. Come here, baby. Huh?